We brought you a report about the Niladri Road near Electronic City in Bangalore, a road that was filled with potholes and craters until six months back. Until one citizen decided to change that. Hi, I'm Jobish. I'm here to talk to you about the problems I am facing to reach my office on a daily basis. Jobish Thomas complained to the local authorities as well as the MLA and then decided to become a citizen journalist. This is not a road with potholes. This is a big pothole with a little bit of tar patches in it. And it takes around 45 minutes for us to cover this 500 meter stretch on a daily basis. Every day I'm using, there is no other option and we have to travel in this road. Me and other pregnant ladies, what we do is we have to get out of our vehicles before this stretch starts and walk through this way. The impact is there for everyone to see. Thanks to the report on the Citizen Journalist Show, we have some results to show for it finally. The Niladri road to electronic city that so many people use every day to reach their offices has been levelled. You can see the visible difference it makes to the commuters. After the road has been levelled, the accident level has come down. After this small patch of work, I am reaching office on time. We are hoping to get this third star zone. Thanks to CNN and IBN, we are hoping for a better life here. This is Jobi Somer, citizen journalist from Bangalore. From Bangalore now, let's take you to New Delhi, where Ranjan Sharma brings you another CJ impact. A picture of a happy family. This is Gulfanji who turned citizen journalist when the family was going through a tough time. My wife's name is Nuzad Jahan, who is not a person. She was married to her in 2 September 1983. She was married to her in India. In 1994, my wife's visa and passport expired. We were to realize a few months later that year that we had missed the deadline. Since then, we have been struggling to get her some valid document. Gulfanji, abhi kuch hi sami pehle ki baat hai. Mujhe yaad hai hum isi kamre mein baith ke Prime Minister ko letter likh rahe the ki Nuzar Jahan ko Pakistan na bhije. Abhi Nuzar Jahan hamare saath hai. आप बताओ क्या मेमोरीज हैं क्या याद आता है जब आप सोचते हो उस टाइम के बारे में बहुत खुशी मिलती है कि पुराने हमारी सुन ली और मैं शुक्रगुजार हूँ कानून का भी और गवर्नमेंट का भी कि उन्होंने हमारी मजबूर समझा और इसका सॉल्व किया इसको मामले को सो गुलफाम जी इस रिपोर्ट हैड एन इंपैक्ट हैज द क्रॉस ब आज तीन महीने पांच दिन की मेहनत और मुश्किल के बाद मेरी वाइफ नूतन जहां घर पर आ गई। इस से ही दिन पहले मेरी वाइफ नूतन जहां रिलीज हुई कि मेरे लिए मेरे बच्चों की नहीं मेरे परिवार की नहीं है ये तो एक तोहफा दिया पर वाले ने। मैं बहुत खुश हूं कि तीन महीने के बाद ये दिन आया मैं अपनी � an Indo Park love story that had the perfect ending. In fact, this platform has empowered many citizens. One such citizen journalist is Darshan Kaur. Widowed in the ET4 riots, Darshan has been fighting for her promised relief for the past 30 years. But her file, like many others, was buried under bureaucratic corruption. I am Darshan Kaur. I am a widow. I am a CJ. मेरे को आज तक इन्होंने चुरासी के अंदर कोई भी मुआवजा नहीं दिया, ना इन्होंने कोई पेंशन दी है, ना कोई इन्होंने नौकरी दी है मेरे को। हमेशा मेरे से वादे करते हैं और वो अपने वादों से बुकर जाते हैं। कोर्ट के चक्कर इतने काट काट के थक गई हूँ कि अब मेरे से वहाँ से कोर्ट से जाया नहीं जाता we have been directed to room number 9 where files of 84 riots victims are kept. But today the room is locked. From there we go to the SDM's office to find who is in charge of the 1984 riot files now. Our files are somewhere in these corridors. There is no information desk here. And no designated officer to look at the complaints. No, 
आज तीस साल हो गए हैं मेरे को कोर्टों के चक्कर लगाते हुए अभी तक मेरी कोई सुनाई नहीं हुई और मैं अपने केस के लिए लड़ती रहूंगी मैं सीजे दर्शन कौर We are happy to announce there has been an impact. Darshan has just received her first pension check last month. From this impact to another story, a fight for the most basic of rights, the right to education. Subisha is a young girl. She wants to go to school, but because she has cerebral palsy, a government school refused admission. Her mother Ruksana turned a citizen journalist. and the citizen journalist team followed the story rigorously for many many months going from the school to all the authorities responsible mera naam ruksana hai aur main apni beti ko 3 saal se admission karane ke liye pareshan ho rahi hu school mein lekin abhi tak admission nahi hua rukna subiksha has problems with mobility and speech and often becomes hyperactive ye mere ghar ke paas ka school hai जिसमें मैं पिछले तीन साल से दाखिले के लिए आ रही हूँ लेकिन स्कूल वाले मेरी बेटी का जिम्मेदारी लेने से मना कर दिया मैंने डी सी पी को लेटर लिखा और उन्होंने रिप्लाई किया कि आपकी बेटी को तो प्रिंसिपल को एडमिशन लेना ही पड़ेगा लेकिन जब मैं वो लेटर लेकर स्कूल गई तो प्रिंसिपल ने पेपर फेंक दिया Taking this information forward, Sean and I B N C J team took Ruxana to the D C P C R's office. We met the officials here and requested that Supeshta's case be taken up by them as soon as possible. And now there has been an impact. Supeshta can finally go to school. The C J team relentlessly follows up with your battles. In Bangalore, C J Muni Raju spoke out against medical negligence that had left his wife in a vegetative state. When the story was first aired on CNN IBN people were shocked and enraged at the callousness of the hospital involved the health minister of Karnataka promised help and justice we have been following the story through all its ups and downs till finally justice was done I am Muniraju today I have turned citizen journalist after a nearly 3 year wait citizen journalist Muniraju's case with the Karnataka Medical Council has finally concluded Muni Raju had been fighting a long drawn battle after his wife Shelja fell victim to medical negligence. CNN and IBN had taken up Muni Raju's fight for justice and his citizen journalist report has had an impact. The Karnataka Medical Council has now found two doctors at Malige Hospital guilty. Bangalore police say the charge sheet will be submitted to a local trial court in a few days. The state government too has taken note of the case. As Shelja remains in this condition and with the Karnataka Medical Council remaining silent on any financial relief this citizen journalist says he will continue his fight I'm fighting against this uh, respondents for justice until they are going to behind the bars I'm very thankful to CNN IBN citizen journalist being with me A case of sexual harassment was reported by a doctor at IIM Bangalore. When she raised her voice against it, she was rusticated from her organization. This is when she turned citizen journalist and spoke out. Her story also had an impact. He used to ogle at me and make suggestive gestures and comments. He even tried to touch me and he said lady doctors in white coats turn him on. I brought this to the notice of the director who promised to take action against him. No action was taken against him. I finally gave a written complaint to the institute's gender sensitivity committee in July 2011. It took 6 months for them to begin the inquiry on my sexual harassment complaint. On the 30th of January a day before my probation could end, I was asked to quit. without citing any reasons i have now joined the cj team 
to take on the IIMB administration. The CNN-IBM team tried to contact the authorities at IIM Bangalore, but they refused to comment on camera. After the story was aired on CNN-IBM, IIM Bangalore responded to our emailed queries. The institute said it had suspended its chief administrative officer. If you two are facing sexual or any form of harassment at work or at home, raise your voice and become a citizen journalist. This is the ex-medical officer of IIMB, citizen journalist of CNN-IBM.